Hi everybody, we're getting ready to do the class called Wild and Free and here is the instruction sheet. Looks like this. The name is up in the top right hand corner, bottom right hand corner. And this is our first page and we're going to do it in bits and pieces. Um, before we get started, just some of the chalk ink colors that uh, would be fun with this that we suggested might be Rocky Road. That's a nice fun brown. Uh, Blueberry Bliss, another one that's part of our new um, 2020 ice cream collection of Powder Puff Chalking inks. Butter Pecan, another new one. Barn Board, that's an older one. And Tiramisu is another new one. So choose one or two of those or all of them. There's lots of, and as you can see, there's lots of color in this particular layout. So we're going to get started. And I think we're going to start with the hard part first. And how the goals for this class are, we'll do pages one and two in the class, and three, four, five, and six are always just a gift for you to take home or do at home. So we'll get started with one and two, and I'll walk you through all of the steps to put this one together. And then by the time we get it done, tons of pieces are gone, makes three, four, five, and six super easy to put together. You can almost do it by just looking at the instructions. So to start with, we have this cute little book you see here and it goes on the outside of the page protector just a fun little spot to add more pictures okay so the main part of this book will be glued to the outside of the page protector so keep that in mind so when you get done you wonder how it works that's how that works so to start with I'm going to do um, we're going to do this little book right off the bat and that'll get rid of lots of little pieces and your book will be all assembled ready to add to your page once we get all the background pieces in okay so the things that you will need you will need a red die cut that's four and a quarter by five and a half go ahead and locate that four and a quarter by five and a half and it's red on one side and stripes on the other side in case you're not finding it. Then the mat that goes on top of that is four inches by five and a quarter, blue on one side and wide stripes on the other side. And that will go right on top of this. And I would say, let's go ahead and put that together right away and then that will be all taken care of. So now some of the colors, um, you could, another fun color for this kit would be deep sea. I'm going to try a little bit on the edges of this just so you can kind of see what color that looks like. It's a real deep, rich blue. Okay. So for those of you who have never used powder puff chalk inks before, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can go like this. And I like to get a little bit more in the corners. Sometimes it just kind of adds a little bit more richness and a little bit more contrast. Or you can just do this. Okay. Do it three or four times until you get the color that you want. So go ahead and try that out. And again, I'm using the um, Deep Sea, but let's try the Blueberry Bliss and see what that looks like. Where is it here? Okay, it's another dark color, but it's more of a country blue like this paper is. And so this is what it's going to look like. My chalking is a little bit messy here. So just light coats. So see, it's more of a country blue. So let's put that away and go ahead and add some adhesive. Now keep in mind, mine is just a sample, so I'm not going to be getting it glued on super well. I just want to show you where things go. So five and a quarter by five and a half red piece, stripes on the back, and four inch by five and a quarter blue with wide stripes on the back. So go ahead and add that blue to the red, and that piece is done. And then let's look at, you're going to look for a piece that looks like this. It's three and three quarters wide by eight and a half long, red on one side, stripes on the other. So go ahead and locate that. And then you're going to fold it in half and crease it, okay? So this is going to be the base for your book. This is the cover for your book, actually. This is the base, this is the cover. So once you get that folded, what you're looking for, again, is three and three quarters by eight and a half red stripes on the other side, fold it in half so that stripes meet stripes. And then you're going to add adhesive 
to the back side of this. Okay. On one red side. And then it glues onto your mat and it's flush to the top, flush to the bottom in about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch from the left hand side. It's not centered. Okay. So it should open up, look like this. Go ahead and glue that on. Okay, the next pieces, and I'm going to get all the pieces out here that we're looking for for this kit, and you can um, start locating those before we get any further now that we have the main part of the book put together. So you are looking for a blue piece that's three and a quarter by four, and I will tell you there are two blue pieces that are similar in size. This one, set it aside when you find it, it's for page three. The one that you're looking for is three and a quarter by four. So I'm just going to get rid of that other piece so that you'll know that you're looking for three and a quarter by four, blue on one side, wide stripes on the other side. You're also looking for two little banner pieces. One is red and one has a green gingham. Tiny, tiny little pieces. Maybe a half an inch by um, an inch and a quarter long and maybe two inches long. So green checked banner, red banner. And two more pieces that look like this. One of them has a hole in the top. And if you notice, they're both exactly the same size, okay? And on the red side, up by that hole, you'll notice that there is a score line. So go ahead and fold those red pieces right along that score line. These are the pages for our book. Okay, and then here you have three circles. Two exactly the same size, one a little bigger that's scalloped edges. And if you notice, the other side are stripes. So how this is going to go together, and I'm um, let's do that right now also so that it'll be all done. You will turn the scallop piece over so the red side is showing. You will end up gluing a striped piece to the red side of the scallop. Okay? Chalk up those edges on that, um, especially the striped circle, because the red one is kind of deep, dark color. And I'm going to show you what barn board looks on it. It shows up some, and maybe barn board is what you want to use on. See, it darkens the edges a little bit on your scallops. Not a lot, but it helps to differentiate it from the rest of the red paper. Let's try it on the scallop. You can do this in blue. You can do it in red. You can do it. So see how that barn board shows up? Just lightly add some color all the way around. Go around a couple times until you get the color that you want. And then keep in mind that this is going to glue directly to the front. And we're calling the front the red side of the scalloped piece. Okay. Then we're going to turn both of those over so that the red piece is facing down. And then you'll take your second circle, add some adhesive to the striped side of that second circle, and add it to the back. And the reason for that is once this is done, this little piece goes here, and when you open it up, you will also have, see that little red on the back side, okay? Just nice to have it finished on both sides. So we'll set this aside, this little circle aside, knowing that's all finished. And the next thing that you need to know is that we are going to use these pages. Now you will open your book up. Let's move these out of the way for just a second. Open your book up. And now it doesn't matter which side of these you want to show because both sides will actually be a front and back of the page. So, if you want the striped side to show in the front, remember that you folded it here so that stripes meet stripes, you're going to add adhesive on the red side above the score line on that little half inch flap, and then you're going to make sure that your score line on this 
page matches up with the score line of your book cover, okay? And then that half inch flap will be glued to the top flap up here, okay? And then same with the one with the hole. The one with the hole is just so you can identify it as being, and I'm gonna put this on a different way. I'm gonna add the red to the front. So either way works, totally up to you. Fold it back the other way, add your adhesive to the striped side. And again, your score line on your page goes right up against the score line. And then that little half inch flap with the hole goes up the top. Now, keep in mind that, yes, this is going to show, but once you get a photo on here, um, and if you wanna add the, the piece with the hole first, you can do that too, but you would normally have a photo here that would cover up this little seam right here. You'll have a photo here, okay? You will have a photo here and here, here and here, okay? So let's close this up and then come back to the pieces we have left over. This three and, three and a quarter by four inch piece will glue right here on the front. just a little mat for the front of your book. And then you have a green piece of ribbon. So locate your green ribbon and that will go around. I'm gonna put just a little adhesive to hold it in place on the back side. Fold it in half so you know where the center is. Center it onto the back side of that front cover, okay? So the back side of that front cover like that. And then that holds it in place so that you are able to tie a little knot bow down around and over to the left, okay? Little knot bow over to the left of your piece. Then clip your ends. Clip them fairly short because you kind of want them just a little bit of embellishment sticking out there. So there you go. And then you have um, this little quote that says, a laugh is a smile that bursts. Any color that you choose to um, color the outside edges. And let's try barn board again here, just slightly. Okay, that's a perfect color for the red in this stripes of this kit. So I'm just gonna add a little adhesive to the top of this and it goes on up here in the top left corner. And then you have these tiny little banner pieces. I'm gonna try a mint chip on the edge of this little green banner. Choose any color that you want. And again, we made suggestions, but there's always a lots of colors that you can use. So there's that, and a little red on the red banner. Some adhesive on each banner piece. green tucks up underneath and the red tucks under, up underneath and then if you want you can add just a little more adhesive to the bottom of this flap a little bit of three in one or glue pin and then the only other thing we've already assembled this little circle with paper on front and back and it has the scalloped edges this glues this one adhesive on about half of it. And it glues on as a little flap to open your book with and also a cute little embellishment. You could add, add a tiny little picture to that too. That would be really cute too. 
So there you go. There's your little book all done, ready to go onto the page once we get the page put together. So set your book aside and we'll look and see what we need to get started on page one as far as background pieces. Take all of these off for the moment. So what you're looking for is a striped piece with a flourished edge and a straight edge. You are looking for a checked piece that's one and three quarters wide by 11 and a half long and it has like a white board print on the other side. And you want, I forget the measurements of this, but there's two of these that look exactly the same. You only want one. You need a five by seven white board paper and that has green check on the other side. Five by seven white board paper. A white chipboard scallop circle and a striped circle. That striped circle will glue on right over the top. Okay, You can do front or back. Either way works perfectly fine. We put it on the front, but that's up to you, totally up to you. So that's where that will go. You have a big red circle that looks like this red circle looks like this and three actually you have six pieces that are two and an eighth by two and a half three will go on page one three will go on page two so I'm going to scoop these up now and um, we'll put them on one by one so you can see where everything goes Okay, and then here's your background paper. Looks like this. I'm using the boards going this way. You can totally turn it this way if you want. Either way works just fine. And the back side is also a plain green. It's gorgeous. If you would rather use the other side, that's all right too. So the very first thing you will add is this flourish piece. And it's centered pretty much top to bottom. Let me make sure about that so that we can get it on exactly how we want it. Centered top to bottom. Okay, and then the little point is about a half an inch from the left hand edge. About. Something like that. The little point. Half an inch from the left hand edge. And this would be a great piece to use some. Let's try... Um, Blueberry Bliss. I think that would be a great color for this one. Or the barn board, either one. But look at how pretty that goes on. It's exactly the color of the blue in this. And then sometimes when you get to little crevices, you have this little tail. It helps to get in there. But I kind of like to just go right over the top. Okay? And it just kind of helps get in there all by itself. There's another little point. So go over it a few times. I love this color. It's a nice soft blue. Okay, so you can do that. You don't need to do the straight edge because I it will mostly be covered up. So go ahead and adhere your striped flourish to your background page, centered top to bottom, in about half an inch or so from the left hand edge. Okay, and then you have a strip that's one and three quarters by eleven and a half. Uh, another great spot to chalk this up. What are some of the colors we suggested? Um, tiramisu, barn board, butter pecan, blueberry bliss, rocky road. Another good one would be um, the mint chip. That looks like it matches pretty good. Um, there is. Let's see what the tiramisu looks like on this. Just for fun. I wouldn't normally mix green and this orangey color, but I bet it's going to look... Uh, see, that's kind of fun. Especially with the colors in this 
Yeah, I like it. So try your tiramisu. It's got a good color that kind of goes with this yellowy gold color in the corner of your background page. You could also use the Blueberry Bliss on this. You could use, um, oh, there's several greens. But I kind of like that. So this will go on next. And it goes in, um, if you want to know exactly where it goes, instead of about, it's five inches in from the left-hand edge of the paper to the left-hand edge of your checked paper. And the checked piece is center, top to bottom. Okay? So five inches in. I'm an about person, so if that drives you crazy, um, I do abouts, but it is five inches. Okay, there's your two pieces that we've got on so far. Now we're going to add this five by seven paper. Let's try a color just for fun that we haven't tried that was suggested. Butter pecan, let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Where are you? This is one of my favorite soft colors from the new ice cream collection. That's kind of fun. Look at that color on there. And again, you know you could go with some grays if you decided you wanted to change up a little bit. You could do the Blueberry Bliss. You could do the darker color like Deep Sea. Any of those would look really nice, but I kind of am liking this Butter Pecan. Okay, see how that looks? A little more in the corner, I would like to do that. And just keep going around to get it as dark or as light as you want. Okay, then this goes on. About two inches in from the left and three inches down from the top. And again, I will tell you exactly, this is two inches in from the left, okay? The left edge of the paper to the left edge of the background and three inches from the top. I put it exactly. See, it's okay to do abouts when you can do it exactly. That never happens though. Just kidding. Okay. Now we want to add, as an embellishment, this circle. Now we didn't assemble it yet, but I was talking about how you could assemble it. And um, if you want, if you want to put it on the front, it would be great to go ahead and add a little bit of chalk ink around the outside edges. I think I'll try the Blueberry Bliss again. And normally I use two to three colors. I don't usually use a whole bunch, but with cut paper like this, so so many colors, totally okay to use I any mean, any amount of colors that you want. So see how pretty that blueberry bliss is. Just keep blending it all the way around. And I would put it on the front so this will show, but again, this circle can go in the background. So you will add a little bit of adhesive. You will put more adhesive than I'm doing, and again, mine is just a sample. So add your adhesive, and then your striped piece. Now, we added some barn board, or some um, one of the reds around the outside edge. Mine's on crooked. And if you want to do that, I would keep it real sparing to start with, so you can add more if you want to. So just lightly, just lightly. See how that just gets the very tips of... Now, if you wanted to change the entire color of this white piece, you would lay the chipboard, the white chipboard, out on a scrap paper and just press some color into the whole entire piece. But see how that just gets just the very tips of your... And then it's changed its color entirely. And this will go about right here. Actually, we need to put, hang on, we need to put on this red circle. 
and this red circle. Let me back up, and I apologize. It's been a while since I've done this one. This red circle goes on before the white 5x7, down a little bit from the top. So sorry about that. Peel it up really quick and um, add your red circle. And that red circle is really close to the right hand edge and it's down about two inches from the top, inch and a half to two inches from the top. Okay, now we can add our scallop circle. And this really is just an embellishment Okay, it looks about like this. This is just an embellishment, but also a great spot for a photo. So if you wanted to leave the stripes off completely, add a photo behind there, you would have a great spot for a photo. Or cut a photo in a circle, add it to the front. Um, again, it's just an embellishment, but a great way to uh, make it work as a frame if you choose to. And then you have this red piece, it looks like this. And you could add some red color to the outside edges of that if you choose to. And that covers up part of your, I'm going to move this up just a little bit. And if you need a better shot of this, you have a great picture on your instructions, so always hang on to those. So this will go here, okay? And you have an identical piece just like this that will go on page two. And then you have three little green squares that are photo mats, they're two and an eighth by two and a half. And you Center them perfectly onto the, this page, and then once you get those on, you can add your book, which goes on about here. But this will go not on your background page, it goes onto your page protector. So you don't want to put it on yet. This is just where it will end up. And then you have some words that say celebrate, and we've done ours in a light blue, but you know, I think if I was to do it again, I might choose a darker blue, like Blueberry Bliss. Let's just do a little bit of color right here that looks, see how dark that is now? Okay, or I might use Deep Sea on part of it. And that's a little bit different blue, more almost a royal blue. See how that changes the color? And I'm going to try maybe a barn board on the end of it just for fun. Okay, so see how you could use two or three colors and make, really make it work? So Celebrate lends itself to adding more colors. So this would go on right about here. And then you have a cute little loop and it says to cut one loop apart and just about anywhere you want and then that goes on the tail end of Celebrate. Okay? And that looks like it's done in also a barn board color and press some color into that. And just Add it right to your word celebrate. It's just a cute little squiggly. Then the only other squiggly that you have is a long piece, looks like this, that go, once you get it chalked up the color that you want, goes across the bottom. And page one is done. So I'll set this aside and walk you through page two. And now you know that page two is going to be much more simple than page one because there's no book involved and most of it's similar to what you've already done and what you will do is um, you have a four by eight piece of green paper it has a pattern I want you to um, 
cut it in half so that you have two pieces that are four by four. So put it into your trimmer, cut it at four inches. You have two four by four pieces. And again, choose your colors to chalk those edges up. I'm not gonna chalk them up, but you can choose whichever ones that you would like to make for those. And once you get your first piece chalked up, it will go onto your page like this, centered left to right, and the little tip is about a half an inch or so, a quarter of an inch to a half an inch from the top of your page. Then you have a white striped board piece. And um, actually, we haven't tried the um, Rocky Road, so that's always good on white, and it's more vintage. So that's a fun one, if you haven't tried that one yet. shows up really nice on this white paper. So chalk up the edges of your white. See, it's got green checks on the other side and it's white stripes on the other side. Board print. Okay, and that will go here. Over close, the end of a left end will be over close to the left hand side of the page. Then you have two photo mats that you just cut into four by four pieces. You have another red piece exactly like the one on page one. Goes here. You have three more little green papers. Um, actually, we have, before we glue that down, I want to explain this. You have a little half piece, a little half moon shape with scalloped edges. And the reason for that is we were out of, totally out of room on the chipboard when we used it for the lasers. Instead of using a whole entire sheet for one little piece, we cut it in half because that's all you see anyway. But then you also have this piece that glues right onto it. And it's a full piece and it doesn't matter because we had space for that one. So go ahead and chalk up those edges that tucks in behind, okay, in behind the red. The red goes on your three little photo mats. And if you look at your picture on your instructions, you can see here that um, I have two pictures in these little rings. The white ring goes here, red ring here, and you're done. You do have a little bit of squiggly here if you want to chalk it up red or blue or whatever, and then it goes right here. But done with page two. Let me show you pages three, four, five, and six right quick so you can go ahead on your own using the pieces that you have left, and which we've gotten rid of a lot. But keep in mind, you'll probably have a cutting diagram. Anytime you need to cut anything, it will tell you up here on the top left of our instruction sheet there's always cutting diagrams for ribbons and papers and different sizes of papers. So check that out before you get started on three, four, five, and six. Get your cutting diagram all put together. Be sure and cut out all your pieces from your um, sheet of phrases. And then this one says wild and. On, on the word and, we used barn board. But you know, there's a, a color called rouge and it looks like this. I wanna see what it actually looks like, so let's try it on this end just for fun. Punch it out here and we'll put a little bit of rouge on there. You might want something a little bit brighter. If so, okay. So this is what it would look like with the rouge as compared to barn board. Just brighter. Both of them are really good, so work really well with this paper. So up to you what color you want to use on that. So wild, that's done in um, Blueberry Bliss. You have all your pieces here. That little piece that, remember, we threw out, okay, we threw out for page three, that's this behind here. So hang on to that, that goes on page three. Page four, same thing, you have all the pieces for that. Page five, you have little banner pieces that you'll be cutting 
um, a V shape and that's all banner pieces and a little phrase and that's all so that concludes our um, this our wild and free class and um, if you have any questions email me at patsy at shopquickquotes.com and I can help you with it um, other than that we are done with pages one and two and enjoy doing pages three four five and six and we will see you at the next class thank you for attending